Hi, I'm garden artisan Scott Cohen here for landscapingnetwork.com. Homeowner here wanted to maximize the use of space in this backyard. What we did to accomplish that is we cut into the slopes with small retaining walls. Now retaining walls are built out of masonry cinder block and it's important to waterproof the back side of the walls. What you want to do is stop the water from migrating through the wall. If you don't relieve the hydrostatic pressure, the water that builds up against the wall, what happens is it wicks and weeps through the wall and it causes delamination of stucco and stone finishes on the face and you get a white mineral buildup called efflorescence, which is unsightly. So to waterproof the back of the wall, we use an emulsion coating and then we use mirror drain fabric. What this does is it allows the water to get against the wall and then goes down through these little holes and it drops down to a French drain system that's at the bottom of this wall. That carries the water off the property and keeps water pressure from building up against those retaining walls. To coordinate materials in the yard, I cap these walls with bullnose travertine coping. Now, this is the same material I'm using on the steps and bands and on the swimming pool in this project. So having everything uh, match material-wise is important. You know, this is a hacienda style backyard. It's uh, done in an old Spanish world style. And what we did here is instead of having just regular stepped walls, I cut some nice decorative curves into these walls too to match the styling on them. I am garden artisan Scott Cohen here for landscapingnetwork.com.